Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be going over the service that I've been using for a few years now in order to save thousands of dollars on my airline tickets. In fact, I just booked a flight from Atlanta to Tokyo round trip for $400. So before all that, my name is Will. I go over travel and travel work credit cards to help you guys travel more without breaking a bank. So hit that little red subscribe button for more videos and be sure to smash that like button for the algorithm. So the service that I've been using is called Scott's Cheap Flights. And for the remaining of this video, I'm going to either call it Scott's or the service because saying Scott's cheap flights every time is a huge tongue twister. Now, I know I've definitely talked about this on this channel before, but in this video, I'm going to go over the savings that I've had on some recent flights that I've booked, as well as just give you some more information about the service. So here I threw together a little spreadsheet to show you guys how much we saved over the past couple years using the service and I couldn't go back any further than that just because I wasn't actually tracking, but I'm pretty sure I did have some flights using this service. So as you can see, there is kind of a theme here. We love us some Hawaii and Japan. So back in 2019, we traveled to Hawaii for our wedding. This normally would cost us about 800 to $850 round trip, but we only paid $520 when we got that deal alert from Scott. So we saved roughly about $330 or 40%. In addition to that, we were also able to share that deal with some other family and friends who were traveling with us for the wedding so about eight or so other people were able to get a pretty similar deal so in total we had about thirty three hundred dollars in savings between the group now we didn't necessarily pay for all that ourselves we did pay for a couple people but i am including the entire savings that everyone were able to save using that flight deal because if i'm able to you know share that deal with other people i am more than happy to do so now if you were just to look at you know how much me and my wife saved it'll be about six hundred and sixty dollars and then in March of 2020, at the very beginning of the pandemic, we did have a trip to Japan planned, but of course we did have to cancel it. So that ticket normally goes for about $1,100 at minimum, but we only pay $560. So that's roughly a 50% savings. So this is another one that we were able to share with some friends. So total savings of roughly $4,300, but for just my wife and I, roughly $1,100 in savings. And then just a few months ago, we went back to Hawaii. We pretty much paid the same price, $520 for just my wife and I. So we saved about $660 between the two of us. And then next year, we just booked a flight back to Japan for next March. This time we only paid $410. So a savings of roughly 63%. And again, we were able to share this with some friends who are gonna be traveling with us. So total savings of roughly $5,500 for that flight or just $1,400 for just my wife and I. So depending on how you want to look at it, you know, we saved about $14,000 with the amount of money we saved, you know, me and my wife, family and friends, all that, or me and my wife just saved $3,800. Either way, it's a pretty big win in my book. So as you can see, there's a ton of money that could be saved with the service and the service is free. So yes, it is completely free. Although they do have a premium version as well that you have to pay for every year. And I'll go over the differences between a premium and a free version a little bit later in this video. Now, in order to sign up, I'll leave a link down in the description below as well as pinned to the comments. So if you wanna sign up, use that link because it does help the channel out and I would greatly appreciate it. All you have to do is supply your email address and enter in your home airport and they'll send you any flight deals from your home airport straight to your email. Now, when determining whether something or not is a deal, they do look at, you know, certain criteria. So of course they're going to look at the price and how rare that price is for that route. They're going to look at the airline to see, you know, is that a comfortable airline for this flight? How's the leg room and, you know, your elbow room and all that stuff. They're going to look at the layover. Is the layover reasonable for that route? And then finally, they're going to look at the flight availability. So they're not going to send you a flight deal that's going to be for one specific flight on one specific day. They're going to look for flight deals that span, you know, multiple deals. So you can have a kind of an option as to, you know, when you want to fly out and stuff like that. So they'll look at all this stuff before actually sending you a flight deal. So this is what the deal looks like once it hits your email. So right in the subject line, they're gonna have the location as well as the price itself, and maybe a little emoticon to show you how excited they are for the deal. And that's pretty much how I felt 
once I saw this uh, hit my email. And then in the body of the email, they're gonna show you some you know, basic information, how much the flight normally costs, again, that sales price. And they're gonna show you the travel dates as well. So here for the Japan trip, it was September 2021 through March 2022. And they're gonna show you any airlines where you can get the deal from. Now they also include a link to either Google Flights or maybe sometimes Skyscanner, but usually Google Flights so that you can actually book the flight. So you know, you click on that link. Now, of course, you know, this is old, it's a few weeks old, so the deal's not there anymore. But you can, of course, play with the dates and maybe line up to, you know, what you were seeing in the email and then kind of find what works for you. And, you know, just looking at the criteria that they were looking at when they were looking for these flights, you can see some of that stuff I was talking about earlier. So they were looking at one stop or fewer for this flight, which is reasonable for a flight from Atlanta to Tokyo, you know, up to $500 and a max layover of six hours. Now, when you get one of these deals in your email, you usually have to be pretty quick, especially if it's a deal so good as this because they usually don't last very long. I'm talking about maybe an hour and a half to two hours max is how long this deal lasted after it hit my email inbox. In fact, you know, I sent this to all my friends. One guy missed out because he was like working or, you know, something like that and he just missed it. So you do want to be pretty quick about this. Now, one thing about, you know, airlines in America is that they had to give you a 24 hour period in order to cancel and get a full refund. So if you're, you know, considering a trip like this, if you're like just, you know, 10, 15% sure you're going to take it, just go ahead and book it. Think about it over the next several hours. And if you don't want to do it, you can just cancel and get your money back. But again, you know, speed is usually key when it comes to a lot of these deals that pop up. Now you're not going to see a lot of deals for like business class or first class. Those are pretty rare. Usually these are for like main seat economy tickets. All right, so let's quickly go over the difference between the free and the premium membership. So the premium membership costs $50 per year. And really the only difference is that you get more deals in your email. So I pulled up the past six deals out of Atlanta and you can see half of those are for premium members only, but you still get three good deals, you know, just with the free version like that Jamaica trip. $300 is pretty good because it normally goes for about $550. Same thing with Trinidad and Tobago. But you could be missing out on some really, really good deals if you didn't have that premium membership. For instance, I'm pretty sure that trip to Japan I just booked was probably a premium member deal only. So I would definitely probably just go and cough up and pay that $50 because it's 50 bucks. You see how much money I saved over the past you know, several years. What? $3,800 for paying. I actually paid $35 per year because I'm grandfathered into the old plan. Even if I was paying 50, I wouldn't be too mad about that. So it's a really good deal. And full disclaimer guys, if you use my link down below, you know, it doesn't matter if you get the free version or the premium version, you know, I get you know paid the same. So do whatever you want, but I do recommend just go ahead and just get in the premium version because it's still just a really, really good deal. So one little hack I like to use when using Scott's is being able to book the flight on the Chase travel portal because if you can find this flight deal on the chase travel portal you're going to save a ton of points so for instance my uh 2020 japan trip well that was 560 dollars cash but we actually paid points for that using my chase sapphire reserve card on the travel portal so for both my wife and i we paid roughly 75,000 points for that economy seat now, if I wanted to say transfer my points out to an airline partner, the best option would be A and A, and that would be 110,000 points for both my wife and I. So we save 35,000 points using Scott's cheap flights and booking it straight through the Chase Travel Portal instead of having to transfer my points out, which would be even more of a headache, and I have to pay taxes and all that stuff. So you can see, you know, hacks like that. Definitely another great little way to use you know, your points and miles. And you know, you can do that stuff with like the Capital Venture card as well. So that is Scott's Cheap Flights, guys. Again, I'm going to leave a link in the description as well as the comments below if you want to sign up. If you already have the service, you know, let me know down in the comments below if you've saved any money using the service. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to smash that like button for the algorithm. Subscribe for more videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.